Here's the beginning of the roof rack. It's only partially done, and I'm about to walk you through the rest of it. One more solar panel needs to go on, some lights. But this is the beginning of it. It's 8020 aluminum from T Nuts. And if you look, so it has one light on this side, but it's going to have two all the way around. So at nighttime, See, there's one there. So that one's going to have two also. And this side has two. The brackets that hold this in, they have a lip that goes all the way across and is bolted to the lip with inch and a half angle iron. One that goes this way and the other one that goes flat, shaped like a Z with a backer plate on it. Get a better angle of it. There, you can see it there. And here's the roof rack as it is. I have three panels that go across the front, but I'm gonna move one of those panels back to the corner, and one's gonna go in the middle, and then in the middle is gonna be the roof vent, and on this side is gonna be a skylight. It's gonna be 800 watts of solar altogether. I'm using U Joint Off Road corner brackets. I'm using everything to zip tie in. These zip tie brackets. There we go. See another angle up picture of the bracket. It's real sturdy. <clears throat> like you can't even move it. My original plan with the solar panels was to use just one by one. That's a one by two. All these are one by twos. And my original plan was to do one by ones, but if you can't see it, there's a lot of wiggle in it. So I had to take one that I didn't plan on using and run across the middle right here. And on each end, I have one by ones. And you can see, there's a lot of flex. So I'm gonna replace these two on the end, on each end with one by twos. And then also one by twos, three to go for the, the end pieces. And now to make everything more solid, I'm just not happy with it shaking like it does. I might see, here's a close up of the lights. And those will be set up on each side, like this side would be one switch, the other side would be a switch, the rear would be a switch. Future plans is right here will be an RV door, pretty much where the ladder is. But the wall, I mean the floor, stops here. I'm gonna build a step-in box where it goes all the way to the ground or all the way to the end of this edge piece. So give you more clearance getting in and out whenever it's four wheel drive. And on the back right here will be a window on each side. This will be a wall completely and a mini split will go here, spare tire here, and across the back will be a box. I plan on integrating a mountain bike rack in there some kind of way. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet. And then on this side would just be a window right there. That's it. Also, not sure where I'm going to put power. I'm not real excited about it being next to the gas cap. But you never know. We'll see what happens with it.
but this will be four wheel drive. I also have uh, brackets for that roof that were custom made. I'm gonna show you those here in a minute. I plan on mounting a generator up there with 80-20, maybe some kind of lights, I'm not sure. I plan on getting rid of those big old mirrors and add in different mirrors, smaller mirrors. There's a front. Here's a bracket we're going to be using for the roof, for the cab of the roof. It's a cab roof bracket. These are, U Joint makes these, but they usually don't make this thin section right here. It's usually thick like this here, but I got them to custom make it for me. I think it's gonna work pretty good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the van itself. There's a better picture of them. It's all powder coated. Really, really nice. They do a good job over there. Okay, this is how it's gonna sit. This is how it's gonna sit on the cab. Like that. And then a piece of 80-20 will be on the top up here and go across to the other side. Of course, once it's all tightened up, it'll be better. But that's basically how it's gonna sit. I'm gonna have one all the way up here like this and then one in the front. Here's a view of the roof rack from the top. It's three inches off the deck of it. Give you a look inside. Very basic. It doesn't have power windows or power locks or anything. I did add a stereo, an Alpine head unit with Apple CarPlay, and I ran a USB plug to where the uh, trash control button would have been, but they don't have it on this van. So you don't have to worry about uh, having a trash control button on there and then this bracket is for a backup camera I'm gonna put on that's gonna run full time so you can always see what's behind you and there's easy pass for uh, the east upper east northeast and Georgia peach pass and then on the back we put wallpaper you see it's not a good job but it's on there and a map and a sticker from Tideline Alpine. That's Frank. And here's the floor. The floor comes out here, which I'm thinking about putting a diesel heater uh, mounted here, but behind the seat. And it, that way it doesn't take up cabin space. There's a lot of room back here. Maybe build a shelf. It also goes, see that notch back there? It's like six, seven inches deep. Try to figure out some kind of shelving or storage for it. Regular vinyl flooring, I mean vinyl roof. Very basic, runs good. I put in the, I put in cruise control steering wheel. That's all new steering wheel buttons. The airbag unit's the same, but everything else is pretty basic. I like it though. Like I said, this is gonna be for a, a uh, backup camera I haven't even put in yet. I'm gonna upgrade to the newer style 08 plus RV style uh, cup holders and center console, just haven't done it yet. Wait, my tripod. But it works good. So much easier than my last van, which was a diesel. So quiet. 
This is the cable I'm using for all the wiring on the outside. It's 16-2. It looks just exactly the same as the light, the light thing. Let me show you that. This is a light up close. This is what's going on the outside on all four corners. So it's basically the same. Actually, it's 100% the same. So it should match right up. Looks like it's gonna look factory. Like I said, here are the lights again. This will go, I'll pull this out like this. Pull it out and it'll go behind the bracket like that. I thought about drilling through the 8020, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how the zip ties work. Here's 8020, this is one inch by two inch. This is what the side rails are made out of. And here's a little, these are called zip tie twist on mounts, really handy. So you just take it and you just twist it and it locks into place. Now put on another one. See? And then I'll drop in two zip ties. Here's a piece of cable. Go like that. Let's see. And that's how it works. And it can go either way too. Go, oh. so you can go this way also. All right, here is the finished roof rack. Eight hundred watts of solar. Those are U-joint corner brackets. Every corner has one of those lights. Each side will be independent, so it'll be like driver side, passenger side, and the rear. There's one there. Cellular booster antenna by WeBoost. That's a Wi-Fi antenna for a better Wi-Fi reception. That's how it's all wired in. Show you underneath. There's an inlet glands. I still have to button those up. There's underneath. It's all 80-20. There's a custom made brackets. You can see how the bracket sits. It's just two pieces of angle iron with a backer plate welded to it, painted, and it's bolted in through this lip so it doesn't even go through the roof. So I don't have to worry about sealing it up or anything. There's the bottom of the brackets. But it took a long time to do, but it's pretty simple. That's a better view. That side's open over there because the skylight's going in. This side will be a, a aluminum plate that I'm gonna get that I'll use as a shelf for a roof rack or maybe a ski rack or something and that's it 
I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll give you a drone view also to show you what it looks like when I'm done. Thanks. Here's it from the front, I mean from the passenger side. You see the Wi-Fi antenna sticking up. And there's the front of it. Put a light bar up there if I wanted to, probably not. But there's the corner brackets. Like I said, lights on all sides except the front. So at nighttime in the woods, you could turn on a light while walking the dogs or something. There's the other antenna. And that's it.